G'day ladies and gentlemen, my name is Josh Huggett and I am a professional wedding photographer and videographer from right here in Adelaide, South Australia. Uh, and today I'm talking to you about the five things that I love about my Canon R3. This is the Canon R3. I have been using it for about four months now. I've shot 12 weddings with it. I've taken 26,000 photos. So I think I'm a pretty good judge of what I actually like about it. Um, if you are looking at this, there's the 26,000 photos because I'm sure somebody will ask. If you're seeing this, then I do also have a video up the five things I hate about my R3, uh, which hate is a very strong word because this is a pretty bloody stellar camera. It'll do everything that you need it to do and more. Um, I'm sure I'm only using a fraction of the features of this camera. I'm still trying to figure out how I really want all the buttons set up. I did watch a Sam Hurd behind the scenes recently and he uses these buttons down here, which I don't. So I'm gonna to try to set that up as well. But I am a professional photographer and videographer, which means I am a hybrid shooter. So I take both photo and video on a wedding day. And that's why I went with the flagship because it is fast enough to kind of do that. My favorite thing about this camera is the easy way to switch between photo and video. Just that is great. I miss this button. I have been using the R6, which has been kind of annoying because you've got to switch it at the top. This little dial is just so, so handy. So if you are a photographer and you want to get into video because that's what everybody's asking for these days, R3, if you've got it in your budget, highly, highly suggest it purely for that button. It's um, just the ability to be able to take photos like this and then without having to change anything, all I need to do is flick that button and I'm back in video mode with the same settings that I had previously. It's just it, it just makes the photo, it just makes your day way, way easier. Uh, number two, the second thing I love about this camera is the gripped body. It's very hard to get a proper, but it's so grippy. Those little rubber accents and the little divots just make it so much easier to hold. This is my second or one of my second bodies, which is the R6. Um, and it's just not the same level of grip. Like if you felt, um, just the rubberized texture of the R3, it's much more, it's much easier to hold is probably the uh, better way to talk about it. This is like textured and it's got a little bit of rubber on there, but this design, it's like almost like a honeycomb design. Fantastic. Uh, I don't have any issues holding this camera up or around or over things. I know that I've got a solid grip. Yeah, great little, little grip system. Number three, which is kind of along the same lines, is that it is a square or kind of like a rectangle, but it's like having a battery grip. I always work, I normally work with a battery grip anyway, but built in flagship model, obviously, uh, just gives you so much better control. You can hold it anywhere and you're gonna be okay. Uh, the fact that you can come from here, you've already got the buttons there ready to go, it really, makes working a lot easier, especially when you're coming from something like this, which one of the best features of the R6s is how small they are. However, if you wanna take portrait modes, you get really used to having those buttons there rather than doing this and then holding a heavy, heavy camera upside down like this. Um, the ability to just kind of throw this around in your hand is, uh, is really, really handy. Number four, and this is a weird one, especially if you watch the first video, is the battery life is pretty good. It's also a negative because it's almost perfect, but compared to the R6, uh, the battery life is phenomenal. So put it into perspective, the R6, I used to take six batteries with me to a wedding day if I'm shooting full photo and video. The R3, I take two. I will use one main battery, so one Canon battery, because the battery life is far better on the Cameron batteries. Uh, and then I will use half of a Hanal battery as well. The battery life on them is terrible. 
uh, especially using something like the 28 to 70. But the battery life on the Canon batteries is fantastic. You will get, if you want just a photographer, you will get an entire wedding day out of one battery. Photo, video, towards about, if I start at like 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning, by about eight o'clock at night, I'm running out of battery, which is great battery life. That's really good. Because I don't use really any battery saving methods. I don't turn my camera off. I use the viewfinder, I use the eye tracker, I use the screen, I have it turned up. Like I'm a pretty power hungry photographer. So the ability to do all of that and not have to worry about battery life is pretty bloody good. And then number five is just the presence that you hold walking into a room with a camera this big. That's a positive and a negative at times. Like if you're walking into a getting ready and everybody's a bit uncomfortable because the professional photographer's coming and everyone's like, oh, fucking hell, he's coming, he's gonna take photos. Um, I normally start on the R6 with a smaller lens like the 35. So I'll normally start on the R6 with a 35 like this because it is a far smaller little getup. Um, a lot more, you know, it, what, not as off-putting as walking in with something this size, um, but it's a lot of presence. You walk in the room, you've got this, you've got an 85 on the front. They know when you're walking in with this that you're a professional photographer and you are there to do a professional photographer's job. Um, there's no second guessing if you're a hobbyist. The presence that you bring into a room, walking up with this, people know that you're there to do your job. They know you're gonna do it properly. You get asked a hell of a lot less questions just for having the appropriate gear. Um, but that is the five things that I love about my R3 at the moment. After 26,000 images, after another 26,000 images, maybe we'll come back and do it again um, once I've figured out how to use all the buttons properly. But yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you do. I do have a, do you have? I've got a lot of proper reviews coming in. Um, I have owned the R6 since they came out. I have two of them. I have got all RF glass now that I've actually been testing in the field as a wedding photographer for the last few years before I actually started making reviews on them rather than trying to jump on a bandwagon and buy a lens, take 100 photos and then be like, it's perfect. It's the best lens you'll ever buy. And then you go and buy money and realize it's not actually for you. Um, <clears throat> 85 I take to every single wedding with me, 28 to 70 comes to every single wedding, and the 35 1.8, I'm pretty sure this is, 1.4, um, also comes with me as a macro. So, lots of reviews coming, Peter McKinnon bag, test review coming, um, and I'm also about to fly to Canada to take one photo, but yeah, thanks for coming. Take care of yourself. Say hi to your mum for me. Peace.